Hello and welcome back to Rhinogold Tutorials. In this uh, tutorial we are going to show you how to make a couple of wedding bands. Now it's wedding bands season so let's go for it. First we will start from the jewelry tab with the ring wizard. From here as you know you can choose any shape or you can go to the advanced settings. So we will go to the advanced settings we will select what profile do we want. On that one I will go for a flat one. And now I will set up the thickness, 1.6 will be OK. And the total width. On, in that case will be 5 millimeters. Finger size, now I'm making the lady one. So I will go for a 12 alright this is okay validate so we already have the first wedding band what I would like to do is just a mid section where we will flow surface to place the stones to do that I will go to the front view from the drawing I will start with a circle grid snap to start from the center and now we just can leave it here what we will do next is from the right view we will move the point so then we will have this nice shape that we want on that curve. To do that the first thing that I need to do is to rebuild the curve. I just go to here and I press rebuild. I will say that I want just eight points and now once we select the curve and we go to edit points we have eight points that this will be perfect to do what we want to do so I select the points that I want to move one two three and four and from the right view with the grid snap and the gamble on I just move them one and two okay now we will do the same on the other points so we will we go back to the we can do it from that view will be easier so I just select these points and select the ring and I move two steps one two on the other side alright so as you can see now we have this nice shape on this curve and it's symmetrical to the middle of the ring. I press ESC to put the control points out and now we still, because the curve is symmetric, we still can control it with the gamble. From the right view, if I think that this is too much, I just unselect the grid snap and I just make it a bit softer. Like this will be okay. Alright, now we already have the curve that I want for that ring. Now I select the curve, I go to modeling and from the edge tab I press patch. I press OK and we have this nice patch here with our curve. On that ring from the cap tab we will extract a surface. This will be the one that we extract. Always keep in mind to keep this on, copy yes, so we don't explode the, the ring. Enter. So now here we have one surface and we have one patch. Once we have this we need to go to intersection so now I can get rid of this patch and I can get rid of this surface and as you can see we have this nice curve let me hide this one that is the original one and now we have this nice symmetrical curve all along the ring. What I will do now is a dynamic profile from this curve. So I select the curve, so dynamic profile. I'm going to select a flat profile. As you can see, it's upside down. I'm going to turn it 180 degrees. I will keep here already the width for the stones that we want to set. I will set 1.3 stones, one point of stones. And here we just 
a little bit longer and now I will drop it inside okay perfect validate now we just need to do a copy of each of them you know that is as easy as control C control V now as you can see I have two rings now I have here one dynamic profile but if I do control C control V I have two dynamics profiles now from modeling I will go to the boolean operations I will say that I want an intersection between one of these copies that I have for the ring and one of the copies that I have for the dynamic profile let's check it validate okay now let's gonna make the boolean difference so I select the part that I want to keep on this box and the part that I want to take out of this ring let's check it perfect we have one two and three parts I'm gonna hide this curve shift and uh, okay probably if I do it like this you will see the difference what I would like to do here is to smooth these edges so it will look much nicer to do this we go to modeling and we'll use the variable fillet we check which is the radius that we have here it says 0, 0,3 I will go for 0, 0,2 and I select this one this one this one and this one that will be okay so we have the nice fillets here let me hide this one so I can do the same on that ones variable fillet on this one and this one and this one and this one all right and now we'll do the same the ones at the very bottom and I will hide this one first I will show the one that I want to do that is the one in the middle and I hide these ones I hide the curve as well so I will make the variable fillet 